So guys, it's been over two weeks since 21-year-old Shane Montgomery disappeared after being asked to leave Kildare's Bar in the Maniunk section of Philadelphia. Uh, there's still very little information about where he may be in spite of community involvement and a $65,000 reward that's still out there. Reports have now come out that a surveillance camera behind a beauty salon directly across the street from Kildare's caught Shane going across the bridge. And we actually set up our own cameras so people could get the context. Caught him coming across the street from Kildare's, walking over a bridge over the Maniunk Canal to a parking lot that is an isolated parking lot with nowhere to go except for there's a steep drop off into the Schuylkill River. The video allegedly caught him going into that area, never caught him coming back out of the area. So I was there uh, retracing the steps as the FBI was there spreading out in those areas looking along the banks of that river. Because there are no real leads, there's a lot of interesting information coming out. And one that sparked a lot of controversy is a writer in Philadelphia Magazine has suggested that there may be reason to look into an old theory of a serial killer called the smiley face killer. Uh, that allegedly over the years has been involved in several of these crimes similar to what happened to Shea Montgomery, never been proven. Um, and he's taken a beating on social media and on the message boards. People saying it's irresponsible to put that out there. It's not something you should do at this point. Um, so we wanted to find out a little bit more about uh, some of the details of the case. So we got FBI agent and security consultant and expert Jonathan Gilliam to spend some time with us. So tell us about this. One of the questions people have, and nobody seems to be able to answer, is why in what people thought initially was just a missing person, why was the FBI there so quickly, within two to three days? Is that standard? Uh, the FBI has certain uh, tools and techniques that other agencies just may not have. From an FBI standpoint, when you hear the media speculating about serial killers, uh, when you hear people starting to have this discussion, how do you respond to that? What I've learned is that the media unlike law enforcement, is not held to a criminal standard like we are or a standard of the law. The press is not necessarily held to that standard. So you do have, unlike, you know, Chasing New Jersey, who I've worked with you all, you do go and, and make sure that when you're covering a story, you set the standard yourself. A lot of news agencies don't necessarily do that. Jonathan Gilliam, always a pleasure. Thanks, man. We appreciate it. Is even suggesting that a serial killer is out there something that's inappropriate. People disappear by water all the time. Even young 20-something white males, they disappear. This is what happens. There are smiley face graffiti all over the place. You can loosely tie them together, but we haven't disproven it, so. It's now been over two weeks. The reward money is up to $65,000. The local police, FBI, everyone is saying, if you saw something, if you see something, please say something. And the search for Shane Montgomery continues on.